When connecting to Nexia devices, it's important to remember three concepts. First, connecting to the network. Second, connecting to the system. And third, sending a configuration. Connecting to the network is done by clicking on File, Network, and selecting Connect to Network. You can also connect using the icon in the toolbar. When you click Connect to Network, you'll see a progress meter down the bottom of the screen. And once the devices have been located on the network, we'll see the System Connect window. In the System Connect window, we can see all of the various systems that exist on this physical network. In this case, there are two different systems. A system can contain one or many Nexia devices. In this case, each system contains a single device. If I want to connect to one of these two systems, I've already connected to the network, so now I can select the system I want and hit Connect to System. When I connect to a system, the current programming for that system is pulled from the devices into my computer, and my computer is connected in real time to those devices to control them. If I scroll down, I will see real-time audio meters, and I can make changes in real time to that system. After making those changes, I can disconnect from the system by clicking on File, Network, Disconnect from System, or using the icon on the toolbar. All of my changes are stored in the Nexia devices in that system. They're also stored in this file that's currently open on my computer. I can choose to save this file as a backup, or I can rely on the version that's saved in the Nexia devices. The first step is connecting to the network. The second step is connecting to the system. In the next video, we'll look at sending a configuration to a system.